Hi guys, today I decided to try something new and use acrylic paints instead of my watercolor paints. So let's just get started. I started with a piece of watercolor paper and then I coated it with three layers of white gesso to prime my surface before doing the painting. I mainly used my acrylic paints from Winter and Newton called Galleria Acrylic and I really enjoy using these acrylic paints. I also tried, decided to try and use my airbrush since it is ages ago since I last used it. I used the colors from Createx called Wicked Colors. I mainly used my blue color and then I used the reducer to make the paint more thin and more transparent. I also used some of the other colors, the yellow and the white color from the set. And I mainly use these four brushes. This one, a very detailed small brush for all the little details, which I like to do. And this more fluffy brush to blend the background. And these two round brushes. I also use this plastic palette for my paints. Some tape to hold down the paper while I did this painting. And I used a lot of tissue paper to remove some of the extra paint from my brushes before painting a new layer. Now I started with trying to use my acrylic paints like watercolors. I've seen this on YouTube. Uh, other artists talk about using acrylics like, wa like watercolors, and you can easily do this. But I decided to tr I decided to try and use the acrylic paints like you would normally use them, which is with m m less water. And it was quite fun to try and paint with acrylics. I haven't done this since I was a child. And I remember I really enjoyed painting with acrylics, even though I didn't know how to use them when I was a child. One thing I didn't like that you could easily see all the brush strokes, which I'm not a big fan of. But that's also why I decided to try and use my airbrush with the acrylic paints. Because you can get a very beautiful, smooth surface which you can see here, you don't get to see the brush strokes easily because you're not painting with a brush, but with the airbrush. And you can probably do the same with a brush and acrylic paints, but um, right in that moment, I just want to try and use the airbrush since I really, I also enjoy working with the airbrush and I thought it would look good with this painting with with the motif, which is an undersea painting of a jellyfish. And I tried a new technique. I tried to watch some YouTube videos and read on online about acrylic techniques since I haven't really been painting or following some tutorials about acrylics in the past. And I learned about this technique called glazing, using a glaze, I think that's the correct term, where you would use a very thin layer of paint with a lot of water to make a very, I'm doing it right now, where you coat a part of your painting to give it a little bit of color. And I really like using this technique because um, I did the details and white strings on the jellyfish with almost a white color most of the time and then when that layer was dry I would use that very thin blue glaze to coat all those white details and I would, I would repeat that pro process with all the white details and the glazing and you can see slowly the first white layers would slowly get darker and darker and darker and I really like all these different blue shades you get with this glazing. I also decided to add a little bit of yellow and red details to the jellyfish because I didn't like it was so many blue colors. I wanted 
the jellyfish to stand out a little bit more, so I decided to use some warmer red yellow colors. And I think I mainly used my little detail brush for this painting when I had made my first layers of paint and I have coated all the paper with the background paint. And I'm just repeating that process with the white details and then doing a glaze when that white layer was dry. And again, I really like that effect it had with all these different blue colors. And I want to try and add some background to this painting, so I'll try to make some kind of bubbles. They got a little bit too light, I realized when I was done. But then I could use my favorite technique, the glazing, where I would use a blue glaze to cover those parts so they would get a little bit darker. And I tried to do the glaze with the acrylic, but it wasn't as strong. So I decided to try and use my airbrush paints because I felt like they were a little bit more intense and stronger. And I really think they worked very well with this glazing technique, at least, at least for this motif. I could probably have used a little bit more of the acrylic paint and less water, but again, I didn't want to make it too obvious with the paint strokes. I wanted a very smooth um, look and surface. I'm just adding more details, red and yellow details of jellyfish, and also a little bit, I mixed a little bit of yellow to the last details on the strings of the jellyfish. Just a little bit, so it, can, so it wasn't just all blue. And I added some small um, dot lines, dotted lines, which I think was a very nice touch to add a little bit more of details to the jellyfish. And just adding some final highlights to the strings and the jellyfish and that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this painting as much as I did making it. And if you want me to make more acrylic paintings in the future, um, let me know down in the comments and I would gladly try and make some new acrylic paintings very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time.